Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you 10 ways to decorate your beauty room, your beauty vanity, and then also your office space. So I'll always just have a little notepad on here, especially if I'm taking notes or anything like that. So I will take my to-do list, rip one off, and then put it in my Keep Calm book. For anything that I have to get checked off or do throughout the day, I will just put it on here. And then since it's on my vanity, I'll always remind myself that it needs to get done. So I make sure that I'm planning out my days and then my weeks and even my months ahead and keeping organized and everything's on my vanity for when I'm getting ready in the morning. So. I definitely always drop down anything that I have to do throughout the day and then anything else that I need to track down will go into my day planner. I know a lot of you were asking what day planner it is that I use and this is the Design Love Planner and this is 2015. So I'm just going to go through the week. So this is pretty much how I have everything organized, videos that I need to put up and then my to-do list that I need to get done. I find it's very handy just to put on your vanity or if it's in your office, just somewhere that you go every single day in the morning. Really good way to stay organized. I always just keep this on my vanity if I'm planning on decorating my day planner, so I'll just go right here. Really having lots of tape so I can decorate my planner and also my notebooks as well, and just having lots of stationary pens so that I'm keeping organized. The next thing would have to be notebooks behind this little bookshelf that I have, and you guys would have seen this in my Daiso haul. And then just having some stationary pens next to it is a great thing to do in your office especially, but you can also do it in your beauty room or on your vanity. My actual office, this is actually how I have it set up. So I've got my journal, a cute little notepad, and then also just these file folders so I can keep organized with uh, different documents and such like that. And also right behind it, I just have a binder. And then in the middle here, this is what's holding it all together. It's just this little book holder that I got from Dice. So really get these anywhere. I've seen them at the dollar store for a dollar. So highly recommend them for your office. So obviously this is quite big. <laughs> so this actually doesn't sit on my vanity. It sits in my office. So it's great to keep organized with. And then I'll also place just like my receipt book in here as well. And then if you wanted to as well, you could also put like your day planner in here as well. I usually just have little post-it notes that I'll put in here and then little cards for like thank you cards or little memo notes. And then also just these little especially for you cards that you guys would have seen in my haul video from Daiso. And then also some just really cute small little sticky notes and I usually use these for like special dates or anything like that. And then the happy one. And then I also pick these little ones up from the dollar store. They are just little clip-on holders. So if you guys have to stack your papers together or anything like that. Okay guys, so the next category would be makeup, of course. So this is probably going to go on your makeup vanity. But I always just keep things that I grab for that are quite small that will look really cute in here. Just got my lip balm that I use every morning and night. And then my What's App by Benefit, and this I usually reach for because it is my highlighter, so I do wear it every day. And then just a Me Too lipstick that is super adorable, and a little powder puff. And these just look super nice on the vanity as well. And then right below, just some really cute pink eyeshadows that I got in rose gold, and these are by Physicians Formula. And then just a little tart, a little tart face oil that I got, and then a blush as well and then a little eye cream. So just things that I usually reach for every day and I put them just on a teapot and a plate. So these two I picked up from HomeSense and it's just got the gold and light pink and white which is my favorite design. I always keep this on my vanity and it just reminds me to use all my little goodies. The next thing that I would do is I would grab any sort of large cup or even a see-through cup or you can use a mug like this and this is from Anthropology, and I got this as a gift, and I just store all my YSL lipsticks in here. So if you guys know me, you guys know that YSL lipsticks are my favorite, especially in the formulation. They're very creamy and pigmented, and I love the colors to choose from. This line, especially right here, the Rouge Voluped, I love the packaging, so I just keep all of my colors in here. And then I also put all my other YSL lipsticks and Chanel ones as well. This little candle holder here that I also picked up from HomeSense. So another good solution for lipsticks would definitely be candle holders because they're nice and small and be able to see all your lipsticks at the top. 
The next thing would be a makeup brush holder. I do have my own brushes in here right now. So these are the boutique brushes and you can get them from slmissglambeauty.com and they're the ones with the jewels on them. And then it's got the shiny pink handle on here as well and then the light pink tip. So if you guys are interested in these, I will leave uh, my link down below. Really cute brush holder, fit perfectly since I do have quite a bit of them in here. And it holds so many brushes and I absolutely love the print on it. It's perfect for my vanity and I actually put one also in my office as well. And then also a really good idea is for storing lip glosses would just be a taller jar. Right here I actually use my Chanel one here. And I will leave the link below of the company where you can buy these off of. I put my Gerard Cosmetics lip glosses in here because I do wear these ones quite frequently. And uh, my favorite one is this one, which is Pink Tiara. But yeah, just a really good way to store glosses. Definitely in something see-through. That right there. Okay, so the next thing would have to be candles. If you guys have watched some of my other videos, you probably know I do have an obsession with the Bath & Body Works candles. I did recently discover over Christmas time though these Victoria's Secret candles and they burn for a super long time. They smell amazing. I would definitely recommend having one on your vanity just so when you're getting ready, if it's night or morning, you can just light a candle and it'll just make the whole room and the whole place smell really nicely. And right here I just put it underneath a little plate that I had and then also just some little diamond jewels just to kind of make it look a little bit more glamorous. And then this candle right here, the bow is actually from Bath & Body Works and does come off. So this is what the candle looks like when you purchase it. And I mean, you can put any sort of bow on here as well, even from like the dollar store. Another idea would be just using a small little baby candle and these ones you can also pick up from Bath & Body Works. Also take the candle off. And if you had another decor piece, say like a macaroon, that would look really cute on there as well. A really cute candle idea. I just picked up these little mason jar candles at the dollar store. So what I did is I just grabbed a pink bow that I had and wrapped it around the room here. Making a little bow. Just like that. And I think it just makes the candle look so much more cute and then just putting it on top of these taller candle holders. And I actually put both of these in my office because it just goes with the colors as well. So what I did is I actually painted about light pink bubblegum tape just from the dollar store. I painted over top of these so they were actually red to begin with. Um, so it took a few coats but I definitely got it to the color that I wanted it to be at. Just on the top here I did the same thing but just with a white bow. Another thing I would recommend having on your vanity would be these cute little macaroons and people are always asking me where I purchased these and I actually got this from a local store called the Cross Design Store so if you guys are in Vancouver you can actually pick these up there but I have also seen them online so if you guys were to check eBay um, you could probably find some on there as well so if you just open these up this is where I keep just little stud earrings inside but yeah these are so cute just to put on your vanity or in your office, you have a little decorative plate. What I did was I just got these little diamonds. These are from the dollar store. They're um, just very inexpensive. And then you can actually place the macarons just inside on the plate. Okay, so the next thing that I would recommend to you guys on putting in your office or on your vanity would definitely have to be wall prints. I picked these both both up at the same store, so I will leave a link down below for you guys on where I got this. But she's just got a really cute little Etsy shop and they were very inexpensive and really recommend using a smaller frame just so it doesn't take up all the space on your vanity. And these ones I actually place in my office where I have a little bit more space just on top of my wall shelves. Another picture here that I have in my office as well. So it's actually an acrylic painting, that, and I will leave the name of the shop just down below. Another frame that I keep in my office is this one right here, and this one is the one right next to my computer. And this frame actually has my absolute favorite print, so that's pretty much why I got it. And then it also sticks within the theme of my brushes as well, so they've both got like the same print. So just keeping that same pattern. And of course, I'd highly recommend just having a picture of you and your loved one on here, or if it's your family member or something like that, but I just keep the picture of me and Ryan in my office. Another idea would definitely be a mirror. So if it's your makeup vanity, of course you would need a mirror on it if, if there wasn't one already. Put one that's magnified, so this one right here. 
Um, on this side here, it's magnified times five. So if you're doing an eye look or something like that, it's definitely nice to have. And then also just a smaller one. So if I were to get ready somewhere else in the house or to sit on my vanity, I really do like this one. I think it's super cute. You can actually adjust this part right here. So this little cup right here, I actually got it from David's Tea. So it's meant for tea. But another thing that I use it for is my makeup. So just in my office, I usually put my, put my peppermint stick hand lotion in there. And my NYX gloss. And then just a Forever 21 gloss that I wear. And then an NYX butter gloss as well. So it's still sticking with my pink theme. And here is a look at my vanity when it's all finished. And this is pretty much what it looks like in the morning when I'm getting ready. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it gave you some inspirational ideas on how to decorate your beauty room or your office space. Thanks very much for watching. Ones for instead I breathe in deep to clear my head